Hi, Asad here. I'm so happy to be here with you this weekend. Uh, one of the things that uh, my wife and I have been discussing uh, in light of uh, the news that we're going to be starting a new church in Escondido is all of the things that we've really had to consider giving up in order to take on this church planting effort. Uh, one of the questions I have for you and your groups today are, is if someone were to come to you and say to you, uh, we're going to start a church in your neighborhood, what are the things that you would tell them? Um, how would you respond to that? W what would be your questions or maybe hang-ups? What, you know, would you be afraid or apprehensive? Talk about that a little bit as you discuss, you know, the great message that we have and, and how God wants us to get it out. In Luke uh, 24, what we saw in the message was that Jesus came back and he was trying to tell his disciples that he was there and he fulfilled the scriptures. And what that does for us is really paint a picture of God's incredible faithfulness toward us and, and, and it's all through Christ. And what I'd like you to do is, is consider why that was so important. Wh why, why would God want us to see that? Why is it in the Bible? Why does he want us to see this picture of faithfulness and, and this picture of, of fulfillment of scriptures? Talk a little bit about that. Um, the other night I was spending time with my neighbor and we were just discussing, you know, how God is ever present. And he has this idea that um, God is with him and, he, and he, he even talks about praying. Yet he's still lacking in, in really putting his faith in Christ. So what it did for us is it allowed us to really get into some really unique spiritual discussion. One of the things that I've noticed is that we have a hard time sharing our faith. And, and I think for me, uh, what happens is I feel like I have to sell something or, or I'm knocking on a door trying to convince somebody of something. And, and really, that's not the truth. The Lord has asked us to share this great message of hope that he's given us, that Jesus has died and resurrected and, and, and that people that want peace and life with God can have it if they would would put their faith in Christ. And so what I'd like you to discuss is what are the things that hinder you from sharing your faith? And maybe that's you need more training. Maybe it's you don't know your neighbors. Maybe it's you just uh, are just stuck in, in a, a routine. Talk about it. Talk openly about it. Just share with your group. Uh, and, and maybe someone there uh, has some things that have helped them in their journey of sharing their faith. Talk about that. What are the things that have been helpful to you? Is there a tract or is there a, a, a favorite verse you have that has helped lead into great spiritual discussion? Talk a little bit about that. I, I just truly hope that this time has been beneficial to you, that it's been fruitful for you and your group, and I pray that as, as you discuss these things, that you'll discover this great message that Jesus has given us and this great challenge we have as a church now to take that message and get it out. May God bless you in your time together.